It's a little after 5 a.m. We're at the Gandy Boat Ramp here in Tampa, Florida. It's March 20th. The wind is blowing. Temperature's about 55 degrees. Water temperature 71. We're going after sheephead mangrove snapper. I stopped at the Gandy Bait and Tackle and the guy said they've slowed down a little bit, but uh, last weekend at the Skyway, they didn't slow down at all. They were hitting hard, so uh, all depends on what information you got. And uh, we're using live shrimp. We're using one ounce orange jigs with uh, fluorocarbon line. And we're gonna see uh, what's gonna happen today. Stay tuned, it's gonna be exciting. Today on this channel, I'm gonna show you where the fish are and how to catch them. And if they're not biting, how to change up tactics. Sometimes they want live shrimp, sometimes they want a different jig, different color, but the best thing that I've ever ever used is fluorocarbon leaders. You really want to increase your catch, switch to fluorocarbon leaders. And it doesn't matter even if it's the polymer braided or you want to buy the expensive, it's, it's you got to go with the fluorocarbon leaders and use four to six foot long leaders. That's the best thing for fish in Tampa Bay. These fish are heavily fished, they're pretty smart, so you really don't want to uh, spook them. And an example of that is, you, you throw a, a, a shrimp in off the side of the boat and it just drifts down naturally, it, it's gonna get snatched up right away. And then let's say you're fishing with a Carolina rig and you have a two foot leader on, you throw it down, nothing happens. Well, it's because they see the, they see the, the regular monofilament line, and if it's thick, I like to use 30, 40 pound braid and 20 pound, 30 pound max mon uh, fluorocarbon. I'm sorry, not monofilament, fluorocarbon. They just can't see it. The longer the leader, the better. You want to have a natural presentation for the fish. That's what they really want. You're going to get a lot more hookups when you do that. And I'll show you a lot more on that. Uh, we'll have an entire series on the proper rods, reels, and the line to use that's gonna be great I'll show you that there's one thing I want to show everybody if you can't get live shrimp I use frozen and I go usually to an oriental market and they'll sell them by the pound head on head off and here's what I have right here these shrimp right here these are head-on shrimp and I got these from the MD oriental market in Brandon four ninety nine dollars a pound these are great look at the look at the quality on these on these shrimp I usually get two pounds. I like to salt them. I didn't, for presentation purposes, I didn't salt them, but I like to salt them, then freeze them, and they stay on the hook better. But when you look at the size of these compared to my hand, these are like selects. These are great. When you're using a one ounce jig and you hook them up through the bottom here and through that, and you, and you have that presentation on there, that's really great bait. I mean, you can buy, you can buy frozen shrimp at the bait market, or I mean, at the bait store, but it's, it's not gonna be of this quality. This is this is really great. You can go to any Oriental store, they'll have it and they'll have it for this price. I mean, look at that, $4.99. That's $5, $5. That's that's not even a you know dozen and a half select fish. So that's what I use for my backup. I always have three or four pounds of these. I like to get them fresh like this. They were frozen, but they stay on the hook really well. Really, a lot of great, caught a lot of great grouper on this. A lot of mangroves, a lot of redfish, everything hits these. It's just a great tip. Now don't forget when you go to the Gandy ramp, you have to pay. You have to pay. It's right here. You got to do that. Then they're going to give you a ticket. Slide your card in, 536, put it on your windshield. That's what you have to do here. So it's not bad. Maximo is free. Here it's five bucks, but it's worth it. It's a great ramp. I'm anchored right here, right at the uh, base of the channel jetty on the Gandy Bridge. The wind's out of the northeast, kind of choppy out here. It's almost six o'clock. This is the place to be. This is the time, right here. You can see the Gandy Bridge that way. Here's the main channel jetty right there. Anchored up, it's about 18 feet of water. Right there. We're gonna try some live shrimp here with my one ounce uh, orange jigs. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. Well, let's see what this is. I think it's a catfish. You never can tell. Get out of the way here. 
Get off, guy. We're out here. There's also the channel cat, too. Another channel cat. We always hope for the best. Got a bunch of shrimp and the bucket's starting to foam so what i really like is this foam off now i'm going to put a link on my site where you can get this online on amazon great deal i'll show you what it does so just click the lid here take a look at this see the bait right there now i just put some foam off in there look at that like magic and it'll stay like that for hours see the shrimp that just takes it right out of there it'll do it with pinfish greenbacks all that ammonia that's what that's what it does so that's what the stuff is foam off works great get some when you get those ladyfish like that you can cut them up into pieces, freeze them. Great bait for grouper, great bait for uh, mangrove snapper. That's just great like that. I wish I would have got them, but they just flop around so much. There's plenty of chances for those. They're, they're all over the flat. I'm surprised he was in this deeper water, but uh, we'll keep trying. Okay. Oh, got it here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Sheep head. There you go. That's a nice sheep head here, but not quite legal. At least we got something. At least we got a sheep head here. It's probably about 10 inches. Got him on that jig. Of it. About 10, so he's got to go back. Try right, another cast out there. These sheephead, they're not really biting it, they're kind of grabbing it and running with it, so you got to kind of peel it out. Take it. Okay, there he goes. Okay. It's a mangrove. Look at that. I wonder if he's legal. It's a mangrove snap right here. Candy fruit mangrove snap. I thought he's legal when I'm doing it. watch the planes come in all the time when you're fishing the gandy. All one every two minutes. Some people cheat that make them up. I hear something here. This might be a legal sheep head. Let's see. Feels like it. Might be something legal. And it's a, it's a big board. This is called pigfish. This is called pigfish right here. These are, this is excellent grouper bait. That's a pigfish. 
I'm just going to let them go. But something this big, I would drop on a eight-on hook with an eight-ounce sinker down into the channel and the shipping channel in June after grouper, and they'd gobble this up. Only a big grouper would take this. But this is called a pig fish. Very nice bait, but you can go in. Well, that wraps up another day of fishing. Any day is a good day for fishing, so it was nice out here as far as the blistery weather. But um, this is March 20th, and uh, there's a lot of good fishing days yet to come, that's for sure. Well, today we went out of the Gandy Ram, went out to the bridge, tried two to three different locations, and uh, managed one sheephead, three mangrove snapper. It was a brutally cold day, brutally cold. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think it's standing outside here by the ramp, but oh, it, was, it was really cold. I mean, the, the northeast winds gusting about 15 to 20 miles an hour. You know, it's just one of those days. So, uh, but you know, I like to say this, that uh, a bad day on the water is better than a good day at work. So uh, happy fishing, everybody. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Saltwater Fishing Tampa. Thank you very much.